What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And also, please, don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Get yourself some loops. Get yourself some MIDI. Get yourself some arrangement templates and get them today. Also, follow me on IG. Hit me up in my DMs if you have any specific questions. That's the fastest place to get an answer from me. And follow the Spicy Sundays podcast on Spotify. Also live on the MG The Future YouTube channel every Sunday. Now, today we are diving back into our FL to Studio One course. Um, this is going to be programming drums in the pattern editor, right? So a lot of um, what stops a lot of uh, FL Studio guys from switching into um, different DAWs is the uh, legendary step sequencer drum workflow that is, you know, just such an effortless thing inside FL Studio, right? So if you guys haven't watched the previous videos up into here, I suggest that you do this um, because I'm not going to be going back over uh, how to um, set up the samplers uh, similar to the channel rack, right? So you you definitely want to watch the, uh, the, the other videos. Um, so if you want to... It, you know, what I showed in the other videos was how to how to program drums um, in the piano roll, which that's just what I'm used to doing. And it makes it so I mean, a, a lot of the times if you're doing trap drums, you, you're probably going to wind up in the piano roll anyway. But if you want to, if, if you're used to looking at them in the step sequence or what I do is I would create um, MIDI regions like, you know, like like you do just go ahead and double click them in. Then you could go ahead and right click on them and go to um, go to instrument parts and select convert to pattern. Right. And then w what you'll see now is you have you have the step sequencer, but it's going to look a little weird because it's going to have the piano roll. Um, uh, Studio one step sequencer. Not only do they have a drum bass step sequencer, but you can also step sequence um, the piano notes as well if you're into that. Right. But. What we're going to do is we're going to is we're going to click right here and this is going to set it into drum mode. And this should look like what you're used to looking at in FL Studio, right? So every other beat has a different shade. Um, so this is your one, two, three, four of the metronome, right? So, um, you know, here you have your number of steps. I'm going to step my steps to to uh, 64 16 is the you know, is the stock resolution. You could change the resolution. Uh, but 16 is is probably is going to be what you guys are used to working on. And when you're using sample one, um, the the way that your the way that your um, samples come in is they start on on the C3 pitch. Right. So if I played it, if I played, for example, the snare on my um, on my MIDI keyboard. Right. So I can go ahead now. And just and just program and just program my snares in real quick, right? Go ahead and press play. I could go up here. Again, I'm gonna go to you know maybe for my kick pattern. I don't you know I want to do something a little bit more simpler just to start it out. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 32 steps. Go ahead and do this right here. Find my kick pattern. Let's go ahead and punch this in. All right, now say, you know, say, say I wanted to add to it. I could go ahead and I could go ahead and add this out to 64. All right. And say, um, you know, say, say I wanted to go into the hi hats. And, you know, say you have your you have your FL Studio workflow and you're really fast with um, uh, with with fill every um, every two steps. Right. In order to do that here. That's this that's this function right here. Now, 
now say if you wanted to if you wanted to um you know add uh add hi-hat rolls or something and you didn't want to send this to the piano roll all you'd have to do is you click on this button right here and you could select this repeat function and then however many times this says down here if this says if this is a one what that's saying is that this that this piece of um this drum hit right here is going to repeat one time within the span of this 16 note right so let's listen so that's so that's saying that it's going to repeat one time right so actually it's going to play twice if you go ahead and you do two that'll make it a triplet check it out you know you could you could i think it does up to 10 right Now, if you if you hold down shift, you can you can drag this out and make this an eighth note, and then and then change your number of repeats to uh, to kind of mess with your rolls. So super simple, super easy, really really simple uh, to to get it up and running and to get that old familiar workflow that you're used to um inside a studio one it's it's right there for you um and if for if for any reason you wanted to uh send this to the to the piano roll and um mess with i mean you have you have your velocities inside here right so if you wanted to if you wanted to go ahead and randomize them you could do that um and then say you know, say, you know, say you wanted to take it, say you wanted to take it further and you wanted to go into the piano roll. Um, also remember that because, because we're using sample one, you can, you could pitch your hi-hats like this. So you don't necessarily have to go, have to go into, um, into the piano roll if you didn't want to, right? But if you did want to go into the piano roll, all you got to do is right click on it and go to event and then I'm sorry, go to instrument parts and just select convert, convert pattern to part, right? So patterns, step sequencer, part, piano roll, right? And just go ahead and switch this to the keyboard like you used to see in it and it'll pop up. Pitch them. Easy money, man. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic, and we will see you on the next one.